temperature. So far, we read how to measure length, weight or mass, capacity, perimeter, etc. Here, we shall read how to measure temperature. Sometimes we feel hot, while sometimes we feel cold. It happens only due to change in temperature. So we can say that the measure of coldness or hotness is called temperature. Dip the middle finger of your left hand in a tumbler containing lukewarm water. Now dip the middle finger of your right hand in another tumbler containing cold water. What do you feel? Obviously, you can feel the difference. Now, can you say how cold or how warm the water is? The answer is no. By dipping fingers, we can just say which tumbler has warm water and which has cold water. But we cannot say how much cold or how much hot the water is. This measurement is called temperature. We use a thermometer to measure temperature. We have two units to measure temperature, degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. The Celsius scale, also known as centigrade scale, is marked from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. 0 degree Celsius shows the melting point of ice and 100 degree Celsius shows the boiling point of water. Here the range is divided into 100 equal parts. The Fahrenheit scale is marked from 32 degree Fahrenheit to 212 degree Fahrenheit. 32 degree Fahrenheit shows melting point of ice and 212 degree Fahrenheit shows the boiling point of water. Here the range is divided into 180 equal parts. If we compare the two scales, we see that 0 degree Celsius is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degree Celsius is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of a human body is measured with a clinical thermometer. Generally, markings from 94 degree Fahrenheit to 108 degree Fahrenheit are done in clinical thermometers. The body temperature of a healthy person is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. Now let us discuss how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. To convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, we multiply by 9 upon 5 and then Add 32 to the product. For example, to convert 15 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, we first multiply 15 by 9 upon 5 to get 27. To 27, we add 32 to get the required temperature as 59 degrees Fahrenheit. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we first subtract 32 and then multiply the result by 5 upon 9. For example, to convert 140 degrees Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, we first subtract 32 from 140 to get 108. Then we multiply 108 by 5 upon 9 to get the required temperature as 60 degrees Celsius.